I attended a funeral in a Georgia county. It was a poor, one gallist fellow. They buried him in the midst of a marble quarry. They cut through solid marble to make his grave. Yet the little tombstone they put above him was from Vermont. They buried him in the midst of a pine forest. But his pine coffin was imported from Cincinnati. They buried him within touch of an iron mine. But the nails in his coffin and the iron in the shovel that dug his grave were from Pittsburgh. They buried him near the best sheep grazing country in the world. Yet the wool in the coffin bands was from the north. They buried him in a New York coat, a Boston pair of shoes, a pair of breeches from Chicago, and a shirt from Cincinnati. Georgia furnished only the corpse and a hole in the ground.